So what is up guys, Soon of the Savage back, and you know what you get on a good Christmas? You get a Saints win, division clinch, and eliminating the Minnesota Vikings. That is a great day for me, as the Saints win on Christmas, 52-33. Man, this was a fun game. Uh, records broken by Alvin Kamara, and as always, eliminating the Minnesota Vikings. It's all good. So as usual, we're going to get into a general recap of the game, individual player stats, and then of course, the final grades. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Okay, so starting out, uh, Saints, we get the first ball, uh, um, and it's a pretty simple drive. You know, Kamara rushes a couple of times, uh, we pass the ball a couple of times, then we get to a first and ten at the min at the Minnesota 40, and Alan Kamara runs that right in for a 40-yard touchdown. So already off to a quick start, but unfortunately the Minnesota Vikings answer back as Dalvin Cook has his run for a touchdown. It was only a 15-yarder, but still pretty good. And then, of course, the Saints on their very next drive, uh, once again... Um, we're throwing the ball more, uh, got a couple of runs in, and then, of course, first and goal in the Minnesota one. Alan Kamara runs that right in for the one-yard touchdown. Very next drive, uh, we force the Minnesota Vikings to punt, so right now I'm pretty happy. Uh, so I'm hoping we can just build up a lead. Uh, the Saints, on our very next drive, we go on a nice, like, long drive. Unfortunately, we were unable to cap, a, cap it off with a touchdown, but Will Lutz does kick the 30-yard field goal. Uh, so I'm happy about that, uh, but unfortunately for the Vikings, uh, they, on their next drive, it was a quick one, and they eventually would get into a touchdown with a four-yard pass to Boone. So it's 14 to seven, it's 17 to 14. Uh, then on the very next drive, uh, we make a lot of progress downfield, but then on a third and six, Drew Brees throws a pass that gets intercepted. Now on this one, I blame Drew Brees for this one. You know. He got a bad read on Jared Cook, and uh, he didn't really read the route right, and uh, the cornerback just completely picked that right off. Uh, but then we forced the three and out, so I'm happy with that. Uh, then the Saints, once again, just drive down the field. Uh, we actually had a pretty short field to work with, and Alvin Kamara runs in for the five-yard touchdown. And uh, then we go to halftime, 24-14. Uh, to 14. Uh, Saints, uh, no, sorry, Vikings, they get the next ball, force another quick drive and a punt. Uh, but then, uh, unfortunately, we get to a first and ten, and then we're on twenty-three. And uh, Drew Brees throws a pass that gets intercepted. Now this time, it was not his fault. He throws it to Emmanuel Sanders, went right through his hands. You gotta catch that ball. And uh, yeah, they get the interception, and then they get a quick touchdown. But Dan Bailey misses the PAT. Uh, Saints on our very next drive, uh, we go on a drive down the field, uh, and Kamara caps it off with a six-yard touchdown. So. So far, he is living up. He's got like he's already got four touchdowns this game so far. Uh, then, of course, um, Vikings on their very next drive, uh, they make a lot of damage downfield, and then they get the passing touchdown to Irv Smith Jr. He had two touchdowns on the day, so he was a pretty good red zone threat for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, then the Saints on our very next drive, uh, <laughs> we go down the field again. It was another. We had another just quick. Drive uh, mainly capped off with a 44-yard pass to Jared Cook. It was more like a 12-yard pass, but Jared Cook got a lot on the yards after catch. And then Kamara runs in for the 7-yard touchdown. So he's got five touchdowns on the day. He needs six to break the record. Uh, Vikings, they go three and out. And then the Saints, once again, we go drive down the field. Uh, but then on a third goal in the Minnesota one, we give it to Taysom Noel, ran it in for the touchdown. I was not happy with that. I'm thinking, what's so wrong with Alvin Kamara? He's gonna br He could break the record. You know, but it is what it is. Uh, Vikings, they drive down the field pretty quickly, get to a fourth and goal at the uh, New Orleans one, and then they get the one-yard pass to Adam Thielen. Uh, then the Saints, uh, you know, they uh, Vikings tried the onside kick. Uh, they didn't get it. So Minnesota 44, Drew Brees uh, finds Adam Trotman for a big completion. Uh, it was a 15-yard pass, 26 for yards after catch. And uh, then Alvin Kamara runs in for the three-yard touchdown, ties the record. So the last time someone ran for six touchdowns in a game, it was 1929. Uh, literally, it's, it's like, wow, they were playing with leather helmets at the time. The, no fate, you could not get called for a face mask penalty. That's how long ago it was. Uh, then, of course, um, then Vikings on their very next drive, uh, we force the three and out, except uh, they, get, they get to a fourth down. They need one last-ditch effort. They don't get it. Saints win, 52-33. I was super freaking happy because uh, I literally got what I wanted from this game. Just a win and uh, eliminating the Vikings. I did not expect that from Kamara on individual player All stats. All right, on to individual player stats. Starting off with a man himself, Drew Brees. So, you know, against the Vikings, he was pretty good. Now, 
He threw for 311 yards, no touchdowns, but he did throw for two picks. Uh, like I said before, uh, the first pick, that was his fault. It just got a bad read. Uh, but the second pick was not his fault. So I'm not that concerned with him going into the playoffs. Like, this time he was a lot more accurate. He was hitting it. He was hitting his targets. His receivers were catching the ball, except Emmanuel Sanders on that one pass. Uh, but, you know, he did well. I'm happy. Uh, Alvin Kamara, what, what else can you say? When you run for 155 yards and six touchdowns in a game, I'd say that's pretty damn good. That is amazing. That is the Alvin Kamara we've been waiting for. That's why we gave him that massive extension. You know, he's making his dough. Uh, Latavius Murray, he ran for 72 yards, so he was pretty good. Taysom Hill ran for 18 yards in the touchdown. I, I really wish we just gave it to Kamara. You know, but I don't care. Uh, lead receiver was Emmanuel Sanders with four receptions for 83 yards, followed by Jared Cook with 82 yards, uh, Adam Trump with 45, Marquez Callaway with 26, Latavius Murray with 24, and then followed up with Taysom Hill with 19, Johnson with 17, Kamara with 17, uh, and then Burton with four. So, once again, Breeze, like I said, loves to spread the ball around. You'll hate him in that for fantasy. Uh, but of course, we didn't like we didn't have to throw as much because we were literally just running the ball with Kamara. But you know, it was good enough for a win. Okay, so the defense, you know, it, it was at that stage like it was at the beginning of the season. Either it was touchdowns or three and outs. Uh, so the offense, I'm giving us a nine out of ten for today. Could have given us 10 out of 10, but the two turnovers are just what's going to hold me back. Defense will give them a 6.5 out of 10, you know. Got stops when they needed to, but, you know, nothing special. Uh, then the Vikings, all right. So Kirk Cousins, he played decently, threw for 291 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Um, Dalvin Cook, he ran for 73 yards and a touchdown. So they, re they really weren't handing the ball off to him much because, you know, they had a lot of ground to make up. So it was a good thing that we, you know, Got, a, got an early lead, so they couldn't expose Dalvin Cook as much. Uh, anyways, uh, lead receiver was uh, Adam Thielen with 87 yards, with 97 yards in a touchdown, followed by Justin Jefferson with 85, and Irv Smith Jr. Like I said, red zone threat. He had 53 yards and two touchdowns. So the offense for the Vikings was okay. It was good. It was good. You know, going against the Saints, you know, you still put up 33 points. That's pretty good considering that we're considered one of the better units in the league. Uh, so, offense, I'm going to give those guys a 7.5 out of 10 today. But the defense, I'm giving them a 2 out of 10. Like, you, like this quote-unquote strong defense got absolutely exposed. Gave up nearly 600 yards of offense. Like, you can't be doing that. And it's, it's, it's terrible to see. Like, not for me, of course, but the Vikings, like, come on. I thought this front seven was supposed to be something amazing. Like, I knew the secondary was a little shaky, especially after losing Xavier Rhodes, you know. The secondary, I knew, was going to be a little bit sus. I mean, a, a couple of rookies coming in, so I, I I could see the secondary having troubles. I'm okay with that, but what's with the front seven? Like, seriously, that was absolutely pathetic. But good news also for the Saints is that um, Will Lutz was making kicks, so good for him. Good for him. Uh, but anyways, going up against Carolina, it is a must-win game. Because we still have a chance for the number one seed. If we win, Seattle wins, and Green Bay loses, it's a three-way tie with 12-4 and four records, but the Saints, they will have the number one seed. Uh, because that matters, because we need home field advantage. Because I don't want to have a chance where we have to go to Lambeau to play a playoff game, because like it's not in our element. Drew Brees is not as good outside, like especially in the cold. Like I know he's, he may really struggle in that game, but as long as we can get the running attack to work well on that, but... That's all I got. On to the outro. That is going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you want to see all my other prediction videos and all my other Saints recaps, links to all that is in the description below. I'm glad I got to wear this outfit one more time. Sadly, this is the last video that you're going to see with it for a while. Because sadly, Christmas is over. Sorry, y'all. But anyways, um, make sure you like this video. Subscribe my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you thought of this game. How happy were you if you had Alvin Kamara in fantasy or if you're a Saints fan. Comment down below what you thought. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. At Suda the Savage. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Who that nation? Well, Blue Jays Christmas hat is out. Oh, is out.